Hey y'all, so I'm back today and I want to touch on this on touch base on this interview with little Kim. I very I just freshed in my mind. I just watched it and I enjoyed it a lot, you know. And I'm also going to give my review of her new record took us a break and you then y'all already know as soon as the um who was that? As soon as the Wake Me Up record comes out with her and Remy, um, I will review that one too. Um, disclaimer on that, I actually watched another video of the um, YouTuber I mentioned before in my videos, Midnight and I. And she said the record that is floating around, I have it on my um, account as well. The record Wake Me Up, the, the snippet that is allegedly the snippet or whatever. That's actually not the record. Uh, now the only reason I, I'm gonna wait to see when it comes when it comes out and then do a review then and then I put, guess I'll put that same disclaimer on this because right now bitch I need the views. <laughs> I'm just saying you know I get paid by the views so I need the view. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure the validity of that because it sounds it, it is Queen bitch instrument the Queen bitch instrumental but it sounds like Remy is rapping. And little Kim is kind of dapping her up in the background. And that's what Kim said the the gist of this record would be anyway. So until I hear it, I'm not going to take it down. And then, you know, I'll review it then and we'll go from there. However, uh, at, or at any rate, moving on to the interview. You know, I watched the interview. It was about 43, uh, 43 minutes. I didn't know I could sit that long. Um, <sighs> okay. It's been a hot minute, at least to my understanding, since Kim's done an interview. So it was nice to see her. She seems like she's in a very good place. Well, that's very good. And, you know, it's Hot 97, of course, um, as you can see. And um, I like, uh, but I like the interview. You know, she's got new music coming on the way. Um, the album, she's I heard her say the date's January, or at least new stuff coming by January. So that's going to be good i'm looking forward to that i'm definitely looking forward to this record with remy touching base on that you know of course you know they're gonna ask you know is the song about nikki and she was she made a very valid point a couple of valid points she brought up the fact that people and and she also took up for remy too and that's just shows you how real of a real bitch kim is like for real she took up for remy too she said people in this business in in this industry know me and remy if we have a problem with you, we will say your name. Now, and that's not true. And, and I know that's true. There's nothing, like, nothing she said there was wrong. You know, Remy said the same thing a couple of months ago. And her old, old girl ain't want to listen. And then her ass got sheathered, you know. But, you know, even going back to the whole Black Friday mixtape. Like, she was on the mixtape cover, chopped the fuck up. So, you know, I, under, I honestly believe when they say, you know, this has nothing to do with her, we've moved on, I believe them. You know, if they have a problem with her, they will address her directly. You know, nobody's scared of, of, of a girl who calls herself Barbie. You know, I'm just going to keep that real. Like, Nikki is not a, you know, she's, she's not a scary person. And I'm not saying that the shit on her. I'm saying, you know, I look at little Kim and Remy, they, they don't have no problem addressing a girl with her name out loud. Like, let's just keep it real. Nobody looks at her as tough shit. You know, she's the entertainer. She entertains. But nobody, nobody's scared to call her ogre out on her name. As y'all have seen on countless times, Black Friday, Sheether, another one, Black Friday, the mixtape, Mask Off Remix. Like, I mean, come on now. Nobody's scared to call her out. <coughs> At any rate, moving on from that, um, I'm glad she did clarify that, though. And they also asked her about that situation, too. And this is another point that I want to get into. You know, this is very, this is another thing that I cannot stand about, you know, Nicki Minaj trans. Everything is one-sided. When Nicki sits there, or when Remy sits there and talks about the situation on the real, or when she's asked about it and she answers a question, um, she's obsessed. She's bothered. But Nicki has features, she had the goddamn, what is it, motorsport? And, you know, it's funny. Her fans are so contradicting. They will sit there in one breath and say this song was not about so-and-so. But I know the song that she just had with Cardi B, Motorsport, or in um, Offset, Motorsport, or Migos, whatever, where she says, this crown, uh, my crown can't fit on your bum-ass lace front. People were saying that she was coming for Remy. Her fans were saying, ooh, she killed Remy, da-da-da-da. So how is it that 
Remy is still bothered if, and then, you know, that's the thing though. When you try to say that's a diss, they will recant what they said earlier. She killed Remy and say, this is not about Remy, you know? So like, bruh, make up your fucking mind, which is which, you know, they do that shit all the time. You know, even if you don't want to count motorsport, you know, no limit or not no limit, <laughs> but the song, no flag. She literally said, I heard them stopping bags to work to Shaggy Gables and me. So, like, when she responds to Remy or responded to Little Kim in the past, you know, she's not obsessed. She slayed them. She killed them, honey. Uh, okay. But when one of them take up for their own, you know, I don't like that shit. And, you know, people act like this just happens in women hip-hop. It happens in male hip-hop, too. So, you know, it's not a thing of... It's not a thing of that. And, in fact, it's very ironic to me when people talk about how people always want females to be... But the minute y'all heard Remy and Little Kim got a song out, y'all automatically assumed it was about Nicki Minaj. You see what I'm saying? So people talk about they wish people would stop pitting females against each other. But in that moment, that's what you were hoping for. You were hoping it's a song about them. And she even said herself, she's on the hook. She's not even rapping on this part. you know. And if everything goes well with the single release, then they may do a remix where she'll rap on that one. So y'all played the fuck out of yourselves there. Because she's on the hook. She's not even rapping. You know, but when she said that herself in the interview. So, you know, I've always found that odd, though. You know, when she goes against somebody, you know, she's not bothered, none of that. She's the queen and she's slaying. Da, 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 da. But when they come back at her, especially if they come back at her harder, you know, or body her like she did or whatever, you know, then it's, um, oh, well, she's unbothered or she's a peasant or da, da, da. like It's so stupid. But nonetheless, um, I digress. Moving on from that. You know, she spoke about a lot of things. You know, she spoke about Biggie. And, you know, I could tell that she, like, Kim is a loyal chick. You know, she really cared for Big. And she just, like, when she talks about him, I just feel nostalgia. Like, I feel like her and him is in the room when she speaks. Like, she really, she loved that man. She really did. And she spoke about him. She spoke about the um, situation with Prodigy, you know. And it was it was a bunch of stuff. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> <clears throat> I need some water in a second. But, um, um, yeah, she spoke about that. But yeah, she, I'm sorry. She, <clears throat> she spoke about that, the new music that's coming up. And then she, you know, she brought up the state of, you know, female hip hop. And, you know, she made a valid point. You know, a lot of these females come in the game and they think you have to, you know, you have to diss everybody or do this or do that, you know. And you don't. And she also brought up how she, you know, she basically, I guess, I'm assuming, you know, she misses how it was. Like, when she was there, you know, yeah, the females had their problems, but they still did music together. You know, and she also brought that up with the whole Remy Ma thing. Because she was like, you know, I feel like, you know, when she was asked about the Nikki thing, she said, you know, there would have to be more than just an I'm sorry for that. Because it would just be a business move. And, she, and I'm guessing what this she means by that is she doesn't think she would genuinely ever apologize for what she did to her. So, uh, but then she brought up, you know, the Remy thing. Because people have been saying, you know, well, why are you working with da 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 Remy and stuff? You know, and she was like, you know, what Remy did, what Remy did, you know, I don't feel like there was ever, there was that much damage done. You know. <laughs> And I have watched, I have watched the interviews um, of Little Kim versus Remy Ma. They get vicious. I will say that. However, Remy didn't take her whole life and whole career and then try to pass it off as her own. So I, I, I can see where she's coming from with it. You know, and people naturally mature with time and age with time. You know, Remy was in jail. Um, Kim was in jail. So, I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, I'm, I'm proud for them. You know, they're burying the hatchet. They're getting this music together. Now, moving on to my review of the song, Take, uh, take Took Us a Break. <coughs> the video was, it was okay. I liked the video. The song, verse-wise, the verses, I liked them. I felt they were a little bit short, but I liked them verse-wise. The, uh, the chorus, it had way too much auto-tune for me. Like, I almost couldn't understand what she was saying at parts. I, I literally looked up the lyric video after the video, or I needed to look it up. But I saw this interview, so I thought I'd watch it. Um, nonetheless, I'm interested to see what she's, um, what this, what this old school, new school sound will sound like. Because she's done, you know, and one thing I feel with Kim, you know, if she's honestly doing it to do her, then that's fine. But I feel like, you know, she does, she shouldn't put herself in, you know, to, to fit in with this generation all the time. 
like you know she did her track queen remix and i listened to it but it's like heavily auto-tuned but then i also look at other things like she did her remix of ot genesis's um <laughs> genesis's i have <laughs> i'm weak but she did her remix of ot genesis's cut it and on that you know i really heard that i kind of heard get the got that hard car, hardcore type of feel from that verse so you know i felt like if she just gets a <coughs> finds a balance of mixing the old school with the new school she'll be good or just taking it all the way back to that 90s essence because the real hip-hop people they gonna fuck with her you know she could really dominate there you know but it'll be interesting to see what turns you know she takes um with the album and what she does and everything you know and I can't wait to hear this new song. But yeah, I did want to make it a point to point that out. You know, it's, it's very annoying and, um, when shit like that happens. You know, especially when, you know, these are the same fans who will say the same thing, who will say the same thing, you know. Oh, well, uh, uh, I remember when the whole situation with her and uh, Old Girl was happening. And what her fans would be like, you know, if Nikki sat and peed, you know, they would say that she's copying somebody. So, you know. It's the same thing. You know, people can flip that on the flip side and say, oh, well, you know, and Kim said to her, so she said, you know, it's, it sucks that we had our situations because now, you know, whenever, if me or her say, you know, fake ass, da 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 then, you know, it's automatically, ooh, she's dissing her, she's dissing, and it's not even about that, you know. I just, you know, I look for signs. Remy hasn't said anything since the Mask Off remix. Um, Little Kim hasn't said anything since the flawless remix so i'm gonna write it off as this is, has nothing to do with nikki until i hear it now if i heard some direct hey well then i might you know we'll talk about that on the review video but as far as i'm concerned you know i'm just good glad to see two females two real rap females you know female queens you know queens and ny getting together and doing this song and you know um I will catch y'all. I will definitely catch y'all on the reaction to this. I ain't even gonna listen to the shit when it first happened. I gotta remind myself. But I'm gonna try my best not to listen to it. If I listen to it, I'll just do a review. But I would like to do a reaction video to it. And, um, but yeah, nonetheless, <coughs> I'm gonna take some goddamn uh, medicine. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace.